Brittany Finney would take the circle for Ole Miss. Two years ago, in a losing effort, she pitched a complete game. Allowing only one run on four hits, the now senior pitcher knew what to expect going in. Going in, thinking, you know, knowing I was going to pitch that game, I really kind of, my mind honestly kind of kept flashing back to the game before that we played at Supers, and, you know, I thought, you know, there was a couple things I wish I would have done, you know, things like that, and I knew I was going to be pitching against one of the best lineups in the country, and so I really just tried to warm up, get my head on right, and make sure I had everything ready to go. Throughout the first couple of innings, the Rebel defense would hold strong. Come on, Finney. Come on, Finn. Nice. She looks good. Good job. Yes. Nice spot. Nice spot, Finn. Good job, Finney. Yes. Nice job, Finn. So we're in the nine hole, so you've seen them all. That's okay. what they got. Okay. Nice, nice job. Opportunities would not be scarce in this contest for the Rebels. In the top of the third, Ali Mena would put herself into scoring position with a leadoff triple. But as quickly as the opportunities came, they would just as quickly go away. I thought we didn't run the bases real well in that situation, kind of caught us off guard a little bit. I think she was going back instead of staying where she was and had an opportunity to go. I think she left a little bit too late um, for making that attempt to go to the, go to the plate. But um, again, you know, young team, sometimes you make mistakes early. Sometimes games like that, you're really gonna win with one or two runs. So you really just need to make sure that when you do get those runners in scoring position that you execute in that time because it might not happen again. UCLA would act fast cashing in on an RBI base hit in the third, and another in the fifth inning. Being unable to cash in on early opportunities put the Rebels in a hole they would not be able to come back from, losing 4-0 to zero to the Bruins. We had our opportunities, um, and we kind of squandered those away a little bit. You know, we didn't capitalize. Um, but that's what good teams do. Good teams do, they, they capitalize on your mistakes. Um, and we just have to do a better job of making sure that we don't make those mistakes for teams to capitalize on. Some opportunities, you know, got away from us a little bit, but I think that was definitely the biggest learning experience for us. You know, they're a great team, you know, a top team that's definitely going to end up, you know, in the top eight. And, you know, going up against them early in the season really was honestly to our benefit because it gives us the opportunity to learn and to say, OK, here's what we did against them. Here's what we can do against everybody else to make sure that the outcome is in our favor next time. But I was happy with the way we played in that game. Um, wasn't a game that we're going to hold our heads down and say, hey, we didn't come out and compete because we competed from start to finish. Um, I think we just, we didn't take care of the ball in certain situations and kind of let that game kind of separate a little bit. I think that's something that we're really working on now is just making sure that we protect the ball because, you know, we're a good team and we should be winning all these games and it's just a matter of protecting the ball and not beating ourselves. The game against UCLA, the Oregon State games, even the game against Boise State, I think, really just gave us that opportunity to play those close ball games, to get ourselves and put ourselves in a little bit of a, a bind, um, give us a little bit of adversity and a way for us to fight out of it. And that's what young teams need to learn um, so we can mature ourselves to become a um, better ball club.